this video is going to review with you the basics of polynomial graphs. So an x-intercept is the same thing as a real root, a zero, or a solution. If you need to find the roots algebraically, we should factor and tee off. If you can find them graphically, we look on the x-axis or for the table when y equals zero. So for example, if I have um, positive 2 as my root, in my table, it would be 2, 0. Multiplicity is the number of times a polynomial has a root at a given point. In an equation, it can be found in the exponent. On a graph, you look at the behavior of that 0 on the x-axis. So for example, if I have x minus 3 squared, this is known as a double root x equals 3 occurs twice. It has a multiplicity of 2. Odd multiplicities and even multiplicities behave in a pattern. So odd multiplicities always go up and down. For example, a multiplicity of 1 goes straight through. A multiplicity of 2 would have a bounce. These are multiplicities, not the actual zeros. A multiplicity of 3 would squiggle or linger. So it does cross over the x-axis, but it squiggles. If I were to continue, for example, a multiplicity of 4 would flatten and go back up. So even multiplicities are tangent to the x-axis, and odd multiplicities cross over the x-axis. So we're going to take a look at two different examples. Example one, use the picture to the right to answer the following questions. We're going to classify each zero, which remember is an x-intercept, and their multiplicity. So I have one, two, three. So x equals negative three. This is an even, and it's a multiplicity of two because it's a bounce. The next is x equals 2. It's a multiplicity of 3 because it's a squiggle. And my last is x equals 5, which has a multiplicity of 1 because it passes straight through. There are three zeros, but technically, there are three distinct zeros. So while it may look like there's only three zeros, there are actually more than that because x equals 3 occurs two times, x equals 2 occurs three times, and x equals 5 occurs once. So your multiplicity is the number of times that root appears in an equation, let's say. So there are actually six zeros. So our possible equation, we always have to have a y equals or an f of x equals. Your zeros turn into factors. So it's x equals 3. Its factor is the opposite, x plus 3. Remember that inside parentheses is always opposite. That has a multiplicity of 2, so there's my exponent of 2. x equals 2 becomes x minus 2. It has a multiplicity of 3, so it has an exponent of 3. And lastly, x equals 5 becomes x minus 5 with a multiplicity of 1 or an exponent of 1. And then the last example is going in the opposite direction. We want to sketch a picture of this polynomial without a calculator. So I'm given an equation. You want it to be in factored form, and then you want to tee off. This is already in factored form. So I can tee off to find my zeros. My first piece is negative x cubed equals 0, which just tells me that x equals 0. My exponent is my multiplicity of 3, which means it's going to squiggle at 3. My next is x plus 4 equals 0, which is x equals negative 4. My exponent is 2, 
So it has a multiplicity of two. It's going to bounce. And then lastly, I have 2x minus 5 equals 0. If you need to, you can show your work to solve for the 0 because it's going to be a fraction or a decimal. I have an imaginary 1 as my exponent, so it's a multiplicity of 1, and it goes straight through. So I'm going to take each of my zeros, and I'm going to plot them on the x-axis. And then we need to know the overall behavior. So my multiplicities are 3, 2, and 1. That's how I find my degree. You add your multiplicities or you add your exponents. So this is a degree of 6, which means it's an even degree, which means my arrows point in the same direction. And I have a negative leading coefficient, so my arrows are both going to point down. So at negative 4, it's going to bounce. At 0, it's going to squiggle and cross over. And then it's going to go straight through. I don't know exactly what's happening in between in terms of maximums and minimums, but I do know that both arrows need to point down. I do know that there needs to be a bounce here. There needs to be a squiggle here. And then it needs to go back straight through at five halves. So this is a brief review and overview of graphing polynomials.